Walk away and stay away. Do not, and I mean do not go back because when you go back, Guess what's going to happen? He's going to disrespect you. And if you keep on going back, he's going to keep on treating you the same way. Or whomever it is. It could be a he. It could be a she. Whomever. Because this has to do with relationships, friendships, work relationships, all kinds of relationships that you have fostered. Hey, y'all. Hey. Welcome to Antigone's Way. My name is Antigone, and I'm so glad you stopped by to hang out with me today. Today, we have a lot to unpack. Yes, I want to talk about not being afraid to walk away. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's family, whether it's a work relationship, but not being afraid to walk away. So if this is something that you are interested in, then please keep on watching. So I know we have all been in relationships before, whether it is in a romantic relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship with your family, whether you have work relationships. We've all been in a relationship before with someone. And sometimes in all these relationships, we kind of get stuck on whether or not we, we should leave or not. You know what I mean? Well, I can't speak for you, but I can definitely speak for myself that I've been in relationships where I feel like if I leave, I'm going to either hurt this person or if I leave, then I'm going to regret leaving this person, you know, but the relationship is so toxic and you can't grow and you feel a certain kind of way. And these people have done some really jacked up stuff to you. And so whatever it is, I want to talk about some things that we can do after leaving a toxic relationship and not being afraid to walk away because you deserve to be treated well. And sometimes being in those relationships can be very taxing on you. So I don't want you to be afraid to leave something that is not good for you, that is toxic, that you know you shouldn't even be in. And so you should take better care of yourself and don't allow people to just treat you any kind of way because you don't deserve that. And that says a lot about who you are. Right? So I have a list of things here that I would love to talk about that can help you once you have left a toxic relationship. These may be some things that you may be able to use to help you out in that. These things are something that you can use to help better yourself and move on to bigger and better things. Because sometimes when you stay in a relationship that no longer serves you, you find yourself being stomped. You find yourself not being able to achieve some of the goals that you have set for yourself. You find yourself stagnant. You find yourself not going and being the best person that you can be. And so I think if you're not afraid to walk away, then that definitely helps both you and the person that you are distancing yourself from. And when you are lacking in that area, you'll be lacking in other areas as well. So we wanna try to live life the best way that we possibly can. And I think sometimes we get wrapped up in this person so much that we forget about who we are. Being in a relationship can be a spiritual thing. Really it is, it's, it, there's lots of energies, lots of energies. And so we want to do the best that we possibly can in being the best person that we can. So with that being said, I have a few things that you can do to help yourself before you get into another relationship. Please, whatever you do, do not leave one relationship and go directly into another relationship. What they be saying about when you leave one, 
you get right back under another one, that's some really bad advice. Don't follow that. You need to take some time to yourself, to clear yourself, to cleanse yourself, to be able to start all over again before you get into something else. There's no need in bringing baggage to the next go round because if you don't take some time to yourself, then guess what? You're gonna end up getting that same type of person. So you wanna take some time to yourself and make sure that you are cleansing yourself and make sure that you are doing things that will help you better yourself. And who knows, in the process, you might figure out, dang, you know, why the heck did I entertain a person like that in the first place? Sometimes relationships are a lesson to us. It helps us to learn different things. So don't look at relationships as being something that you don't learn from. Everything that we go through is something for you to learn from. So don't ever be afraid to walk away from someone because first of all, that'll make them have more respect for you. You'll have more respect for yourself and you'll know, like you won't allow them to walk all over you. You know what I mean? Like, and when you cut it off, girl, when you walk away, Walk away and stay away. Do not, and I mean do not go back, because when you go back, guess what's gonna happen? He's gonna disrespect you, and if you keep on going back, he's gonna keep on treating you the same way. Or whomever it is, it could be a he, it could be a she, whomever, because this has to do with relationships, friendships, work relationships, all kinds of relationships that you have fostered. So don't think that, oh, I'm going to teach them a lesson. I'm going to walk away and then I'm going to see how they weather without me and then try to go back and see. No, when you leave, let that be it, period. Don't even go back unless it's something that is in the cards and y'all stars line up. Later on, maybe a few years or months down the road, stars line up and then y'all decide y'all can get back together again and things are all nice and, and, and dandy. But really though, seriously, you definitely need to just let it go and keep it moving. And who knows, you may run into your blessing that is out there that will do way more and much better for you than this person that you are with right now. But once you do leave this person, there are some things that I want you to work on to make yourself a lot better. Okay, so let's go through this list right now. So the first thing that you need to do after you have left a toxic relationship is take time to yourself. This song, I'm not talking about leaving this person for two weeks and then after two weeks you go and get into another relationship with somebody. No, that's not giving yourself any time. Time is one to two years alone. No, Don't entertain nobody. This is your time. This is time for you to clean and cleanse and get yourself and your mind right after this breakup. Break up with friends, break up with boyfriends, girlfriends, whomever. This is your time to cleanse yourself and get your life together. You don't want to entertain nobody during this time. This is your time alone so that you can get to know who you are and what you've got going on. Okay? So one to two years alone. No relationships, no dating, no none of that. It's all about you at this point in time, okay? The next thing that you want to do is you want to cleanse yourself. Spiritually, mentally, physically, cleanse yourself. This means no intimacy in no type of form at all. No sex, no kissing, no sexting, no none of that. You want to cleanse yourself, okay? And cut all of that out. Cut, snip, 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 okay? Cut, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> so I want you to know that when you're intimate with someone, that is a spiritual thing. 
really it is. There's all kinds of energies all flying everywhere. And what you don't want to do is open yourself up to someone, especially someone who don't deserve to, to have you. Don't open yourself up to that. So we want to take time to ourselves, which will take about a year to two years, and we want to cleanse ourselves. We want to do yoni scenes. We want to do, and I'm, listen, I'm not saying that you have to be spiritual with all of this. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be spiritual with all of this. But energy, energies are real. I just want you to know that energies are real. So when you're sleeping with a person, you're picking up all of his energies. And if you're sleeping with a person and he goes out and messes around with all different kinds of people, guess what? He's spreading your energy all around. And all of the people, if you're still sleeping with this person, all the people that he slept with is coming into you. So you need to be able to cleanse all of that stuff out. Get it all out. Don't leave that stuff in there. You can do that by doing yoni scenes. You can do that by doing rituals, writing things down that you want to cut out of your life. Do you some detox teas, herbal teas, and just just take time for you. Take some time for you at those times. Make it into a, a, a morning or evening ritual that you do this. You do your yoni steams, you do your teas. Do a yoni steam, I would say once a week at the start for the first three months. Then after that, you can kind of lean down off of it. But you want to try to do that. Get all of that stuff cleansed out of you because energies are real. I just want you to know that. So you should detox your life. Take a look back at your life and take inventory. Take a look at what's going on with your energy because your energy could be off as well. And so you want to make sure that you're taking inventory of that as well. Cleanse your space. Change things around. Make things pretty. If this individual was living with you, then take, you know, move some things around. If you have to leave that space and move into a new space so you can start all over again, do that. Get a whole new bed because it, beds carry energy as well. So, you know, you may also have to cut some people from your life as well. Maybe a little hard, but fair. During this time, you want to focus on some things that you want to, some goals that you want to reach, things like that. You want to burn some Palo Santos, burn some sage, or burn some sweet grass, and just cleanse your space. You can also use, what do they call that, Florida water and put it in your, your cleansing bucket and wipe down your floors and wipe down your cabinets and, and wipe things down and pray over your stuff and, and work and speak some words of affirmation, you know? So just get yourself, work on you. This is your time to work on you. I can't say that enough, but this is your time to work on you. You want to break soul ties. That's the next thing. You want to break some break soul ties. Write stuff down in a journal. I'm a big journal girl, if y'all don't know by now. A big journal person. Um, I do believe in writing things down. When you write things down, that is a petition. When you speak it out loud, that means you're putting it out into the atmosphere and you expect for it to come back to you. Now, it may not come back right away. It may be, and it's gonna be in God's timing that these things happen. But I would definitely say that writing things down is very powerful, very, very powerful. So how you want to break soul ties is you wanna write things down. Once again, I am not, trying to push spirituality off on anyone because this may sound a little a little woo -woo -woo to some but definitely I would say get you a journal or get you a piece of paper or something write down all of the negative emotions you have towards this person and about this person 
write it all down. Get it all out. Get it all out. And then when the full moon rolls around, which we do have a full moon that is coming up, write that stuff down. And when the full moon rolls around, take time to cut things out from around you. And what you're gonna do is once you write all those negative things down, you're going to burn that piece of paper. You're gonna get rid of that piece of paper. Burn it. And then you're gonna clip clip all around you. any ties you have with that person you're gonna clip it don't think this is woo woo but I'm telling you energies are real whether you a church person or whether you're just a spiritual person or working to spirituality or you just old regular small joke but I'm telling you energies are real period so you might want to do that once you burn that paper, it will release all of those negative negativities away from you. Yeah. The next thing you want to do is you want to surround yourself around people who are going to uplift you. Surround yourself with better people. I've always taught my son and I've always believed myself that you want to be around people who celebrate you, not tolerate you. So if you want to find your tribe, you want to find the people that will make you a better person. And the best way to do that is to be who you want to attract. Be who you want to attract. Surround yourself with women who are on the same path that you are on, that are on the path of healing just like you are. The next thing you want to do is read books on healthy relationships. One of my favorite books is women are from Venus, men are from Mars, or men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Whichever way it goes, that's one of my favorite books because it is so insightful on how women react to certain situations and how men react to certain situations. So I would recommend that book. Another book that I would recommend is African Psychology by Naeem Akbar. That's another good book as well that I would recommend you read. Also, another book that I would recommend for ladies for you to read is about womb health. It is Queen Afua's book, which is Sacred Woman. Oh, it's a long read. I think it's much more so a Bible for women, but that it book is the truth telling you it gives some really good pointers another thing that I have written here and I think this is so important is for you to detox your mind be careful about what you ingest not only food but what you ingest as far as what you watch on television what you listen to on the radio, what types of music you listen to, what types of book you listen to, even down to social media, what type of people you follow, because that is very, very, when I tell you, very powerful, because you become exactly what you consume. When you agree, <laughs> let me know down in the comment section, when you agree, you are what you eat, and it's not just what you eat, but what you consume. You are that. So check yourself. Check your energy. Mm -hmm. I try to check mine, too, because sometimes we can be off. You know, sometimes our energy can be off, and sometimes we can be off, and sometimes we can attract things. And so you want to sit down and you want to ask yourself, what did I do? What did I say or how was I feeling to attract certain things into my life? So I'm telling you, energy is real. <laughs> real. So check yourself. Also, you want to know how you want to be valued. So when a person comes your way, you will already know. You will already have that. You will already have been doing these things for yourself over that one to two year period so focus on that 
you already know if y'all lining up together based on what you want and how you value yourself. You want people to treat you how you would treat yourself or better. And that's how you want to see that. The next thing is retrospection, which means you want to take a look at yourself. Take a look on the inside and see where your energy was off, just as what I was talking about before. See where your energy was off at and fix it. Pray and ask God to help you. Write things down, but try to figure that thing out. Take a look at what things you want in life and how you want to proceed in life with what you want and what you want out of a relationship. And remember, this doesn't have to be just a romantic relationship. It's all kinds of relationships. It's all kinds of ships. Friendships, relationships, workships. So take a look at yourself and see where you are and what you want in life and what you want out of a relationship. And develop and foster a relationship with yourself first before you try to go out and have a relationship with anybody else. Because the first relationship you should have is with yourself and respecting yourself. Wouldn't you agree? Right? <laughs> and the last thing is go and seek professional help if needed. I, I'm a big advocate and proponent for that. Go and seek that professional help if you feel like you need professional help. Definitely. Get your therapist or a psychologist or a psychiatrist or someone that's going to help you improve yourself and see what's going on and what's the deeper lining issue because you play a part in this as well. This is not just the other person. You play a part in it as well to even attract a person like that in your life. So take a retrospection. Look within. Take some time for yourself. It's important. It's very important. And, um, yeah. Don't be afraid to walk away from someone. Because walking away from someone is being good to yourself. It's very important, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you thought this video helped you, please click the like button below. And hit the subscribe button if you have not. For those of you who have subscribed, I really appreciate you so very much. And I think that is all that I have for today. And um, until the next video, I will see you again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I know I've been around. get my dog on primal for my face what time is it it's about five o'clock let me get around across this around across y'all <laughs> let me get across this around across him anyway let me get off of here Peace.